What's up everybody? Welcome back to the September pickup video. Uh, sort of the same as last month. Not many games, but I did get a haul of action figures from the same place. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Uh, starting off, I picked up Tekken 3DS Prime Edition. I've actually been looking for this game. You know, I got it for $17. And that's about as cheap as I can find it. Like, I looked on uh, online, and of course those were new copies, and I would have rather had a new copy. Like, I don't really like this generic GameStop case, but it is what it is, right? Then I picked up Super Mario 3D Land. I got this on sale. Uh, not a bad game. I played through a little bit of it. I, it's, it's definitely not my favorite Mario game, but it's not the worst I've played either. So, And also, I don't have it here, but I picked up Donkey Kong... Uh, returns 3D. I got that from a girlfriend. She likes Donkey Kong. I like Donkey Kong too, but. And then I got, finally, uh, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And that came with the Wolf Link Amiibo, which, okay, yeah, you can kind of see it there. Lighting in here is awful. I also got that Godfather poster back there, so. But yeah, I saw a lot of people, not a lot, it was a very vocal minority talking about how they need to stop milking these HD remakes. I've got to disagree there. <laughs> I think this is really cool. I mean, it's been 10 years since the game came out at least. I have the GameCube version too. I got it when it first came out. But I don't think there's anything wrong with like re-releasing games like this. It keeps the franchise alive in my opinion. And... You know, I know there's been other Legend of Zelda games, but, you know, this is arguably one of the best ones they've released in the last 10 years, and it's been 10 years since they've released it. Plus, it gets people that never got to play the old versions, they get to play these updated versions, and they're like, oh, holy shit, I wish I'd played that years ago. But anyways, let's jump back into the action figures. I got this Iron Man from the old Iron Man animated series. I really like this. I like how it came with all the armor. I was looking for a couple of the other ones on the back, but I couldn't find them. I got from the Spider-Man animated series, Web Force, uh, Web Force action figure series, whatever. I got Daredevil. I actually had this one back when I was younger. A couple of these I didn't have when I was younger. As I knocked my mic off the table. <laughs> Um, then I got from the Sneak Attack series, Sandman. And I actually didn't have this one when I was younger. This is one of the only Sandman action figures that released for uh, in the Spider-Man animated series. The only other one I know came in a limited edition box set. And that's rather expensive. It's like $160, I think, now if you can actually find it. So if I ever do find it for cheaper than that, I'm, I will probably pick it up. But... And then from the Spider Force series, which I almost completed this set. I only needed two more. And they didn't have them. Uh, Wasp. There we go. Tarantula. And Swarm. The only one that I needed was a Cybersec Spider-Man and Beetle. Right there in the bottom corner. Them two right there. And then arguably my favorites. Well, it's not arguably. These are my favorites. Taking it back to the set of action figures we got last time. I found... Actually, no, I ordered this one. Carnage Unleashed. I couldn't find it anywhere, and I really wanted it in the box. Carnage Unleashed, which is basically Carnage without his mask. Well, it is Carnage without his mask. Plus, it comes with that little pin up there at the top. And the guy who sent me this, sent me this Robin comic book from back in 95, which I thought that was pretty cool. He didn't have to do that. And then I got one of my favorites from this lot, Venom 2. <laughs> I didn't actually have this one as a kid either, the Venom without the mask. 
Man, the lighting in here is just atrocious, isn't it? And then I found this, and it's actually an action figure I've been looking for from, from the for a while. It was from the Spider-Man Legend series. It was Venom, but it was from the it was the Todd McFarlane uh, first time he appeared Venom. And it's the I'm pretty sure this is that one. If it's not, it's still a pretty badass action figure. And it's from the Absorbing Man. Uh, you can see them two heads, the Build a Figure collections. I found this at Barnes and Noble of all places. I mean, I've looked everywhere for this action figure, and Barnes and Noble had it. And I actually picked up some other stuff. I picked up some uh, something I never thought I'd ever pick up again, and that is I picked up some box sets of these Pokemon EX collections and Break, uh, break collections. Uh, I've got them down here on the floor. I'm just not going to pick them up. If that's something... I, I thought about unboxing them here on the channel when we have like free days uh, I'm not sure yet though I'm, I, I probably will I'll video and maybe do a test trial of when I'm on the channel if it does good enough I'll probably do another one uh, as for other stuff on the channel we still got Fallout, San Andreas, Minecraft about the same as last month but starting start November you'll start seeing the videos uh, they actually follow a better schedule than what they're on now <laughs> and we all have some new stuff in November and we'll for sure have some new stuff in December and starting at the beginning of the year, we'll definitely, uh, there's going to be some other stuff mixed in with all that. I actually finished San Andreas, and I finished another little series I worked on, and those will all finish towards the end of the year. But other than that, thanks once again for all your continued support of the channel. It means a lot to me and Ambrose, and uh, stay tuned for everything to come, and I'll see you guys back again here next month about the same time. Thank you all for watching.